In this video, we will see how we can compare branches and also take changes selectively from other branches in a way that it will not interfere with our working process. We will use Git graph for this. So I'll open here Git graph and we see that uh, we have main branch and new branch. First, let's see what are the differences. So in order to do this, we'll go, let's say to the main branch, I'll hold control and click the new branch. As you can see, we are clicking on the commits. Git graph makes comparison between the two commits. And now we see the difference. So if I go on a certain file, I can see what has been added or removed. And this is quite useful technique when you want to compare two branches and to see what kind of changes they might have between each other for bug tracking and also including features from one branch to another. Now this is just for a preview. The next setup is useful when we are working with multiple colleagues on one branch or on different branches and we are asked to pull their changes into our code. Sometimes when we have a lot of unstashed or unsaved changes, this might overwrite our files because git pull immediately does this. So it's best to start with git fetch. Let's say that we switch to the new branch now we would like to grab all the changes that are from the main branch and integrate them into our new branch. First, we would like to be sure that we have the latest changes that are in our main branch. When we are in our main branch, we can click on fetch or type git fetch and this will fetch everything if the branch is synchronized with the remote repository. All right, so the next step is to pick only the changes that we would like. For this, we'll first check out to the new branch or switch our branch. Then we'll go to the commit that we would like to grab our changes from. And with a right click, we'll choose cherry pick. Also, we would like not to create immediately commit with the new changes and click on this cherry pick. Now what we see are the changes being done and the difference between the two branches. Why this is useful? Because we can visually accept or delete certain parts of the code that we don't like. For example, for the launch JSON, we see that we have deleted it. That's why it creates a conflict. But since I like the new version, I will click on the plus sign and we'll keep this launch JSON. Now it goes to the staged area and we'll continue with the PHP files. When we click on the first file, we see that we can basically choose whether we would like to accept our changes or the incoming changes. In order to see this better, you can use the resolve in merge editor. Now we see basically what is coming from the main branch and what we have in our current new branch. And since I'm trusting that the incoming changes are okay, I'll click on accept incoming and immediately we'll see the changes here in the no changes accepted window. Okay, that's good. But we see here from the scroll that we have a second uh, change that we need to take care. And this is also change in this verify token function. So I again will accept the incoming version. And now we have resolved the conflicts inside of this file. And the result, we can also verify once again what will be produced and saved in our staged area. So I'll click on complete merge. And for this file, we see that it's already in the staged uh, changes. What's left before creating the commit is this uh, check user. I'll do absolutely the same procedure for this file. Okay, this way we know exactly what our colleagues have changed and whether we would like to accept it inside of our code base. So here I'll again accept the incoming changes and then go to the next change. I'll again, I'll accept it and the third one also. And then I'll click on complete merge. Now we have uh, staged all the changes. And with this, um, the work is as usual. We can create a commit and then push it to the remote repository. What's flexible in this is that before creating the commit, we have the option to edit the code in a familiar way and also test this code, which is very powerful for us, not creating stressful situations where we need to merge huge chunks of code that uh, might actually uh, cause our code to not function. This way, increasing our confidence in the code that we are submitting for review. If at any point we are not satisfied with the result, of course, we can just unstage all the changes and also even discard them. And this way, our branch will be clean and we can switch to other branches. 
So that's very powerful technique from Bitgraph that really saves us a lot of frustrations. And I encourage you to try it right away.